Now, what are we going to have in here? First and foremost, we're going to have a vent. A high-pressure gas vent. I'm going to make it out of steel, just so that I can dump... Uh, well, honestly, I might pop the, the, the gas vent over here. There's no reason for it to be deep into the structure, I don't think. That will do. That right there will do. Um, I'm actually going to need... Ooh, you know what? If I make this a bunker tile, I'm going to need this to be better insulated. Uh, as in, I'm going to need a line of insulation on this side because that is going to bleed heat in. Ah, oh, damn it, I didn't think of that. Okay. Let's mark down where the, the turbines are going to go first and foremost. So, one will have to go... Okay, one there. One there. And... No. Okay. So, we're going to need... Less room. I could leave a cavity. I could absolutely leave a cavity or just double thick, uh, make it double thick, I guess. That would also function, uh, work. But this is now my new wall, so I need to redesign the layout of these accordingly. Let's cancel that. Ah, okay. Um, if that's the wall, let's make that... Uh, actually, let's... Uh, I'll make sure that's actually insulated. Let's get rid of all that. So we'll enter from the side. That will enter from the side. That'll go around. Get rid of that. Because what I could do is I could make a vacuum there. So that there's no heat bleed from the bunker tile across. I think that might actually be a good move. Why is there bunker tile? We're bringing, we're expanding this out. I would like to add a cargo section. Eventually. Once we got there. Uh, at that point, sure, we could afford that. Which tungsten we have? Not enough. Maybe instead, we do that. I'm going to wait for them to, to finish doing this work. We could have a bit of radiant pipes there. Just enough to make sure that a decent amount of the uh, heat is moved out of this area. Yeah, I actually quite like the idea of uh, isolating this to the point that this will vent out. I quite like that. Uh, for the time being, I'm going to need to do the rest of the building from inside, though. If I'm going to do that. Because this... I will need a little ladder going up, I'm thinking. But it'll expose this to the vacuum, and it'll eventually just v empty itself. Which I think will be fine. Yeah, what, what I'm likely going to do is this is where the bunker is going to be from now on. So this is probably going to go down quite deep eventually. And all of the rest of this area across to this point, I guess, because I can't mine through neutronium, is going to be just uh, rocket silos. They're probably going to be vastly larger than I need, but, you know, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when I come to it. If nothing else, it might allow me to, to store enormous amounts of steam. Uh, or rather, capture enormous amounts of uh, energy and fuel and stuff like that. Um, exhaust fuel. In the case of steam rockets, it'll allow me to capture a lot of steam. Which will be fine. Oh-ho! 
Wait a second. If we're going to expose this to space, I might be able to just... Oh. I might just be able to have this. I'll just do away with this this roof section in its entirety. Okay, hang on. Cancel that for a second. That's refilling that. I should be able to just empty this out. Let's build the ladder first. You construct this. Yeah, I'll, I'll allow it to, to vent out that way. And then I'll seal it off once that's done. Right, now that that's done, I should be able to get in there and, and get that set up properly. And I'm just going to take this entire ceiling away, allow all of this to vent out. Then I'll build that wall after I've built everything inside here that I want, namely the uh, generators. That will work really well, I think. Uh, I clearly put something in the wrong place. My bad. You know what? It is going to be so much easier if I just do this. And then replace it with the, the tiles that I can when I'm done with that. Let's just get all of that replaced. Once these are built, I'm going to open this up, get in there from the top. And deconstruct. Make that a seven. Build these on a priority seven just so I can get in there. But yeah, I really like this idea. This is going to make airing this area out so much easier for me. Yep. Goodbye, unwanted gases. I've never ho bothered holding on to the scene from a rocket launch. I'm interested to see what happens when I ever get into the other fuels and oxidize them. Well, yeah. It'll definitely be interesting. I mean, if this... If this works well enough, we might even be able to just build banks upon banks of steam generators, just pulling off the steam that's being produced. Like I said, we would be able to wire this so that this closes more or less as soon as the rocket has is, is made it past to keep as much steam in the system as possible and then only open up when the rocket's coming back. Be a very interesting design, I think. A very interesting design. Wait for those as well. Yeah, I'll wait for them to be built and then I'll hop in uh, some radiant tiles there. Now, this is going to allow me to fill this area with hydrogen. Which would be quite nice. Oh, man, I just got home from work and was looking forward to continue watching your last Idew Valley series on YouTube. But you're streaming, so I'm... I'm turn... Uh, I am turn watch present you or past you. Uh, either one will be here later. It's fine. It's going okay. Watched for a while last night before falling asleep. Slept much longer than I normally ever do from being under the weather a bit. And wake up to find yourself stream going. Morning all. <laughs> hey, your closet. How are you doing, mate? I hope you're feeling better, buddy.
let me replace this with a ladder going up all the way to here. But now I think that should be fine. They're actually doing a good job of getting rid of all of this regolith. Do meteors even... They must. Meteors must still happen, surely. But I haven't f seen any occur. Now, I know that Spaced Out t took meteors out, but... In the Spaced Out part. But we're not running with that, so I'm a little bit confused. To say the least. If chat happens to know, I would be very uh, interested in the information. Right, well, while all of that's going on at the top, okay, things are coming together down here. I suppose I can also start adding in the tables. How did I set these up before? Two spaces, three two spaces okay so every every two spaces okay all right that doesn't quite work for me anymore poop i've got three in there which is going to be an annoyance but i'll figure out a way to make it work So this power line. I fear I am actually just going to have to go through here. Really not much else for it, really. So. And then up connect to this line. Once that's done, I will strip away the rest of the cabling. And that's going to allow me to finish off the design of these rooms. Again, this one's going to be my recreation room. And this one will be the hospital. That leaves me the bottom layer, then, to play around with. I can have some essential um, construction devices in here. Uh, carbon skimmers, that sort of thing. Uh, and over here, I would need a little spot for a... Well, actually, I still need to have Atmos suits. No matter what I do, I need atmospheric suits. I could... could have it kind of wend its way down and around. Like I could have the Atmos suits on this side. Uh, sorry, the Atmos suits on this side and then down here also more Atmos suits. I'm not sure how that would work exactly though. What would happen if someone went through an Atmos suit checkpoint then came down and they had to go through another Atmos suit checkpoint? Would that have funky effects with the, the suits? I'm not sure. What might be the better option is to have them go through a natural reserve here, and then down onto the last floor, then have a long area of Atmo suits. I'm not sure about that, though. Very unsure about that. 
The alternative is I could have, again, whatever I needed, like carbon scrubbers or something on this side. Uh, or perhaps something along those lines. Uh, but this area just turned into a nature reserve, but have the door over here. So this is all considered one area. So they would always be going through a nature reserve. Just by entering this corridor, this is a nature reserve. It depends on how big this is and whether a nature reserve can be that large. Have a look at the room overlay. 120 tiles. That should allow for it, I would say. I would hope it would. That would then allow this to be atmos like a, a door here into an area of atmosuit docks. Um... I would need some sort of uh, flooring around the dock itself. As I've mentioned before, I wish I'd had some sort of... Like, if there, someone has an accident in this suit, if you've got some, like, mesh tiles over here that allows it to drain out when they take the suit off, it'll prevent you from having to do an awful lot of cleaning up all the time. That might be a good idea. And then... I'd have the uh, transit tube access point, maybe two transit tubes, to accommodate an awful lot of people trying to go through it at the same time. I think that might work. And then somewhere around here, then, I would have a block cooling system to ensure that uh, it, it would just be something... For example, I could have something here that would have a uh, steam generator a uh, and I've forgotten the name I do apologize a, an aqua tuner there we go I didn't even need to click on it but an aqua tuner creating a very chill block of metal through which all the oxygen has to transit through in, in its pipes with radiant pipes so that it could even out the temperature at all times and then the the, the base is basically air conditioned to that whatever temperature I set that to be then below that i would have the area for the filtration systems for all of the wastewater the gray water in the base yeah i think that might actually work oh, you can use tubes to take dupes to different areas for atmosuit <laughs> my lord what a fantastic idea Though I would, yeah, but then I would have to air condition that area as well, which I'm not as big a fan of. You, l I learned about mesh floors under suit dogs from watching you, Ever. <laughs> well, thank you. Very kind of you to say. Right, this place, I mean, it's, it's almost there. Still need these little bits done, but again, there. I'd love it if they were done at higher priority, though. Uh, could we also sweep this place? It's a very high priority. Let's get this place properly cleaned up and ready for the installation of the next part of it. Now, it's going to take a little while for for this to vent everything. Actually, you know what? I shouldn't have put that there because that's going to impede the uh, movement of gases. But Uh, yeah, the, the idea of getting rid of waste gases from the new area. Go back to it. First and foremost, this little area here, I'm probably going to make a, a cap with a, a pump that has a couple of sensors either side of the pump that's looking for any kind of gas that isn't oxygen, basically. The oxygen is going to be pumped in from the corners on each side so that the pressure of the oxygen should shunt any other types of gas towards the middle over time. And then, uh, and in fact, I could even move this across the side a little bit to make a little room for a gas valve there. But um, the idea is that any lighter than oxygen gases will be trapped up here and then will be pumped out. 
and any heavier than oxygen gases will be moved down here and I'll have somewhere with uh, airflow tiles that will allow it to uh, move out um, and then be captured and then pumped out uh, along with the the little area for dealing with waste water as well Well done. That was a lot of obsidian you just picked up, my lord. Quite a lot of copper beans as well. I could, of course, make a little area just for sweeping stuff up, just by there, perhaps, but I'm fine with them moving all of this out of there. That being said, how much is there to move? There's quite a lot, actually. There's many tons of it. Ah, you know what? On second thoughts, I think maybe what I should be doing is adding this right up here. And I can hook that up to a little bit of power. I'll make that for sweep only at a high priority so they can just shunt everything up there. So one person over here on sweep duty will be able to get a lot of, of stuff moved out. In fact, I could sweep this area then as well. Might be quite worth it. But yeah, we've not seen an asteroid impact since we set this up. Well, since we we came in. Uh, could someone confirm whether that's, that's going to keep happening or not? Gears the last time I caught an honest stream, Bilal was still alive, so I have a lot to absorb here. <laughs> oh my lord. Yo, Mendel, yeah, we're going to be... We're still going to have a CO2 pit for dealing with the food, but I've already set up a refrigerator in there. It's not going to make it perfect, but it's going to store enough food at a time. And what we're going to do is we're going to cook to... Uh, we're going to be more um, a cook to order than having a, lo a massive uh, collection of, of calories. So that being said, we've just lost a lot of calories for food. This is the lowest we've been in calories for an awfully long time. Yikes. Ultra yikes, in fact. We were up to like 200,000 for a little bit. I guess a lot of things just all went down uh, at the same time. We've got a shockingly large amount of hatches out here, though. Uh, why? That's coming from the Slickster area. Where meat from all of the dying slicksters should be sent. Uh, I guess all of these should be being sent along. Huh. How's that set up? Yeah, it's pretty much to set up to wipe the eggs. So there must have been a period of time where we weren't moving the eggs over there. That's a bit of a problem, actually. Uh, like this eggs, for example, is, isn't being moved over there. Well, there's loads of eggs in there, in fact. What's happening is we're not using them. Who's on cooking duty? Okay. I think I need cooking duty to be a bit higher for those of you who've got the uh, option for it. And that's what's going to help. No pending deliveries. Okay. Put 
Grab a bunch of peeps on their way. I'm thinking I'm going to need to slaughter a lot of these, though. Let's take out a bunch of them at, at once. Now, I'm hopeful this isn't going to be too much of a fight, but these are stone hatches, so they might be able to deal with us quite well. Thankfully, with a lot of people here at once, it's not as terrible, but they are going to eat the meat, which is a pain in the backside. I do need a lot of them taken out at once. Thin the herd because they are eating an awful lot of material. Well, time to head to the workshop. Have fun with the stream all. Take care, your Mendel. I'm back. I'm pretty sure they completely removed meteorites in the new DLC. There are requests to implement it again since solar is so strong now. Um, faulty entity. The thing is, is I'm not running with the the DLC rule set. I'm running with the base game rule set. I don't know how it works with big merged. Uh, the big merge, rather. I think a couple of my duplicates have uh, gotten some wounds from all that. That thinned them out a little bit. We're back up to 136,000 calories now. There we are, doing a bit of cooking. Good times. Alright, what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to set up a, a shipping lane. To, well, I guess, move the eggs over there, I suppose. In fact, I, I don't even need this. Let's get rid of that and get rid of the chute. Because, yes, it's dropping off coal, but the coal can be put elsewhere. That's not a concern. Let's make sure that it understands which direction it's meant to be going in. So that should ensure that all eggs and everything like that is brought over here. Yep. Perfect. That will be a lot better. No worries, fault, uh, faulty en entry. Thank you very much for checking, though. Yeah, it could easily be removed in both, whether intentional or not. So we might need to uh, reassess quite a lot of uh, how we're doing things down here. There's still definitely a lot of bugginess with the big merge, but so far as I've played it, at least, it's reasonably, uh, reasonably engaging. Let's get all of this done if we can. Actually, you know what? Let's cancel the sweep order. And instead... Get all of this done on an eight. Build that up. Get all of this... Uh, all of these gubbins out of there. 
And then we'll see what we can do next. Uh, that's the another thing, though. I'm going to need to move this inside the area where the vent is going to be. Uh, I can certainly drop a save. Thank you very much for using the dapper save emote there. Sweep only. Wait, have Are you still on? I am, the whole fish. Speaking of cabins, is the Valheim update? I don't know, but I'm eagerly awaiting it. Uh, there's still uh, micrograms there here, which is kind of annoying. I may need to give it that last little bit of a push with a with a vent. That should clean this place out a little bit. Because it is so, so slow. That said, honestly, but the, you know what? No, let's not worry about that. Because by the time that, that all of the rest of the construction in here is done, it probably will have emptied out. Right, let's get all of this swept. Uh, we'll pop this on a seven. Now, the liquids they're going to have to carry. But carry elsewhere, that is. But for now, this should be okay. Avak has been streaming for over 12 hours. Yeah, it happens. We have duplicated it into space, yes. We have already done this. We are now refining the process. It is a grand time. Some might even go as far as to say it is the grandest of times. Now we are going to want heavy what wire moving through all of this. Additionally, we are going to want uh, liquid. And again, I really feel that in this instance, I don't actually want this this liquid to be in here anymore. I think it'd be better, like, if these kick in and it's producing power, just get rid of the liquid and we'll bring more in later. I think that would be fine. This will effectively be clean water. No germs in it or anything like that, so, I mean, it could be def definitely be used for other things. So, let's have it exit out. Oh, actually, that's not a good way of doing that. You don't want to exit in line because it can clog the pipe. You want to exit out first and then join the, uh, the main line. Uh, what I would suggest is if I pop a little liquid vent down here... But, have a liquid bridge that goes back into this system. Deconstruct that. Have the liquid bridge here that's bringing in the fresh water. Oh, that's the wrong way around. Let me just cancel that. Now, 
There we go. This way, if the the liquid can't be reintroduced because I'm not allowing it in because there's already too high of a pressure, then it'll vent. I think that'll be fine. I think that'll be perfect for what we need. Three micrograms over there. Five micrograms over here. It's probably going to take an age for this to drop. Two micrograms vacuum up there. One microgram vacuum. And it's just going to do that slowly in this direction. Yeah, no, it'll all get done. Long before we're done with the building here. Long before we're done with the building here. No filter in the case of contaminants? Uh, what do you mean, Madden? There literally can't be any contaminants from this. If steam goes in, water comes out. That's the only, only uh, transaction that this building makes. Unless I was to join a different pipe up to this, there's no way there could be, ever be any other liquid in this pipe. Now, hopefully they can get all of that done relatively soon. I'm not going to press them for it, but we'll see how it goes. Starting to back up some natural gas. Very nice to see. Is the heat in here too high? That needs CO2, body temperature, okay. 38 degrees. Okay. Temperature of the polluted water that's coming up here is way too hot. Way too hot. It's 58 degrees at this point. 37, 51. 51. All right, we need to have a look at this. So how is this happening? Why is it happening? Oh, the uh, that's active. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. So it's entering here at 56. By here, it's 52. By here, it's 39. By here, it's 34. Temperature down here is only like 20 odd degrees difference. Uh, 10 degrees over there. 12 degrees over here. All right. What we need to do is to extend out these heat spikes. To deconstruct this, sadly. The tungsten radiant pipes, but unfortunately we don't have enough tungsten to keep doing that. So I'm going to have to switch over to, to just copper at this point. That will take a little bit more of the, the heat out of this, but what might be better is if I run this... Uh, along in the water for a little while. That might also be a very useful way of doing it. So, to that end... These ones can be much further apart, I feel. And also, I'm not going to need the uh, temp shift plates, I don't think. Now, right at this second, my entire cooling loop is shut down, so I need this built. AS. In fact, I'm going to pop that on a 9. This is going to be one of the ideally rare uses of 9s.
Now the whole base is currently heating up rather aggressively because there is no more cooling happening. Oh, there's some ice there. Good. That ice will be carted down here where it will slowly liquefy over much time. Extreme amounts of time. That is not what I meant to do, but okay. I actually kind of feel that this needs to be inside here, though. You know what? Yeah, I, th I think we're going to replace these down here along this route. Is that still hooked up to anything? <laughs> it is. <laughs> wow. This old thermo aqua tuna is still running to try and cool things down a little bit more. That is bonkers. But yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to replace all of these down here and set them up for ice. Desperately need all this done really quickly. Well, I did my shopping, uh, Viola practice, cleaned the house, and Avic is still going strong. <laughs> Stirka, hello, mate. <laughs> I am still going strong. It is true. You have spoken the truth. Right now, the, the cooling system is still technically active. It's just this part is no longer functional. But we should be able to get that all sorted really quickly. Just need th these two done and we're, we're golden. Function's delivered. Go. And done. Go. Right, so that's at 50 degrees. This is now significantly cooler. Time it gets over here, I imagine this to have cooled down quite a lot. It's entering at 51, it's leaving at about 30, 32 ish. Depending. So that's already making a difference. But we need all of these made so that I can transfer all of the ice down there. And they will A, quickly melt, but B, they will radically reduce the temperature in this area. There's 82 here. Even if that dropped to, like, by 10 degrees, that would make a vast difference. A vast difference. Radiant pipes. Actually, yeah. Let's get these parts pulled down. Then all of this done is a really high priority. That is going to add significantly more cooling to the loop. Like a lot more cooling to this loop.
Another thing I could do is plant Weezwarts down here. Actually plant them in here and require um, regular fertilization with uh, Phosphorite. We do have production of Phosphorite because we've got uh, Dracos. So that would work. 